Okay, Peter with you here again. And moving on from our last video where we talked about going from unhappiness to happiness, we've discussed what is happiness uh, or the highest state of happiness, uh, and that is a natural state of mind that our mind uh, goes to when it's totally unperturbed and serene and peaceful. And now the critical thing is, what is suffering? And so this is a little bit more complex. Now, the basis of suffering, uh, this is uh, according, I guess, to the Eastern traditions, is uh, there are two main, uh, there's actually three main reasons for uh, suffering. The first is ignorance, which is a bit special, so I want to talk about that later. And the second is desire and aversion. So we spend our life going through this cycle of either wanting something, desire, I want this, I need this, I have to have this, or aversion, oh this is painful, I can't bear this. And in a way, those two aspects repeat themselves in every single emotion or state of being that we can be in. And the, the thing that makes it different is the object of attention. When we have aversion or uh, desire in our minds. Um, so I'm gonna, I've got some examples here. So if you have desire towards a person, you know, you really think something's a beautiful uh, lady or a beautiful man or whatever, then obviously lust comes into, uh, um, into your mind because it's a, type of a, it's a type of desire or attraction. If it's aversion, you hate, you, you really dislike the person, then of course we call it hate. So lust and hate are just types of desire and aversion. Now, if it's not a person, but it's something the person has, you know, it's a possession, then if we really want something that another person has, we're jealous. They've got it and we haven't. If we're missing something, that uh, you know, we feel that we should have, well, uh, then we feel there's a sense of unfairness. That why do I miss out when everybody else has, or if I've got something that I don't want, why do I have to put up with this burden? So again, it's a sense of aversion or unfairness. If it's not towards a possession, but an action, someone's done something, you know, you desire an action, I want you to do something, and they don't do it, then there's a sense of annoyance that comes out of that desire that you want to have them do something. Whereas if someone does something that you don't want, then there's a sense of anger. You, you know, why did you do that to me? I'm going to hit you. So anger. All right, we can look at status. Our status. If we uh, have a feeling of status that, oh yes, uh, I really desire this status that I've got and I'm just so good, then there's a sense of pride comes up, so pride. Whereas if uh, there's a sense of status that I've got this status which is bad, so I've got a status for the wrong things, um, there's a sense of shame that I've done something that I shouldn't have and now everybody knows about it and I wish they didn't know because I've got this particular status. So uh, uh, talking about others in the company of others, um, if we have too many people around us and there's too much company, then we feel stressed out. Like, why are you always wanting to be around me and wanting my time and why do I have to come and see you and see you and see you? Whereas if uh, you have a lack of company and there's nobody wants to see you, then it's a feeling of loneliness. In terms of the future, if there's things you desire out in the future, that's great, you know. Uh, I'm, I'm, racing to get a, um, a prize of some sort or to get something in the future, but there's a level of anxiety around that because the possibility that you won't be able to get it. So there's anxious. And then if the uh, future looks bleak, of course, there's depression. So you can uh, take any real uh, negative emotion and you can think about it uh, in terms of a, a desire and aversion, and it is either one or the other, or a combination of both, around a particular object. So everything comes down to desire and aversion. And uh, the one thing that I want to say about that is, if you look at it even deeper, 
these are really just two sides of the same coin. So when you think about it, both of these really are clinging, or sometimes people will say craving, or simply just wanting. So you either want something to come to you, or you want to push something away, because you don't like it. So all of this uh, comes through to uh, clinging or craving or wanting. So it's the same thing. Now the other thing, ignorance, which I will say you manifests as a kind of doubt or a sort of an existential angst, and that is primarily not knowing about the reality. So that also involves uh, a sense of clinging, of, of, of wanting to know, and it actually comes above clinging because the reason clinging happens is because of our ignorance of uh, not knowing how things really exist. And I will talk more about that in the next video. But that's just a sort of uh, uh, a synopsis of what is suffering. It manifests in hundreds of different emotional negative states, um, but it uh, all comes down at the end of the day to craving and